What's up guys? Welcome back to Scum. Now we're in a slightly different spot in this village here. The police station is, uh, eh, it's, it's over that way somewhere. Anyway, um, we're over here for a couple of reasons. One, it occurred to me that we're going to the trader and I didn't bring any of our valuable stuff other than the car parts and the locks. So, <laughs> I went all the way back and grabbed like all of our spare guns and whatnot. Um, I found this little small electricity generator on the way. Uh, but I brought, I don't remember which chest it's in, but I brought the scar and, uh, not that. Anyway. Oh, it's this one, I think. Yeah. So I brought all of our spare guns for us to potentially sell at the trader. I'm still debating about whether or not to sell the scar or not. It's the most valuable thing we have, but I like it. But, eh. We'll see. Anyway, um, on the way back, we got an airdrop. And it had a block in it and several magazines and some ammo. So we're running the block now because we're still running pretty low on ammo for the 38. But anyway, uh, that's why that's changed up. That's where we got that piece of body armor that you saw in there. Um, and then also in this village, I found this. Got all four wheels, got a battery, it doesn't have an alternator, but we have an alternator in there, but it does not have a seat, so I think we're going to try looking around for a seat for this thing, because I would love to have a spare vehicle. Now it sucks, because if we take it, then we're going to have to uh, go all the way, you know, we're going to have to take it back to base and then come all the way back, but... You know, come all the way back on foot. So that sucks. But we're going to see if we can find a seat for it. Okay. Now, I'm not going to bother searching absolutely everything in these. We're looking primarily for a seat for this thing. Um, also, a couple of people mentioned uh, in the comments maybe doing um, or trying out a game called Project Zomboid. Um, I now have that downloaded, and so we will give that a try in the near future, possibly as the next live stream. If that's something you guys would like to see, it looks like a really interesting game. I know I should be searching things, but we're, we're looking for the car seat. Okay, I'm pretty sure I checked both of those already. But yeah, so we will be trying out Project Zomboid in the near future. But you guys suggested doing it on stream because it has a fairly steep learning curve. And it would be easier for me to figure out with you guys giving me some tips so I think we're probably going to do that, is just do that, the first episode of that as a stream. Um, so let me know in the comments what you guys would like the this next stream to be, which I plan to do Saturday evening again. That's when I would like to get streams just kind of scheduled as doing them Saturday evenings. Um... Probably between 6 and 7 p.m. Central Time, because I'm on Central Time. We have lots of that stuff right now, and we're not doing a lot with it at the moment. So like I said, right now we're, we're trying for just... Okay, we're still okay on water. That, we... That, okay, we don't need food for a while. I mean, we do need carbs and stuff. What all does this stuff affect? Because we've got oodles and oodles of extra calories right now because I was scarfing a lot of them. Well, you saw, um, I ate a bunch of the meat at base while I was rearranging all the inventory. That's why there's a big chunk of the meat gone. Um, 
And I was trying to eat a bunch of that before it spoiled. So, we're, we're good on calories for a while, and we're good on protein. But carbs, fiber, and sugar we're extremely low on. What all do those affect? Or do they affect... Ooh, yes please. Yes please. Um, sure, we have one of you, but we can sell you. What are you? Oh, just a hat. Don't care. Car seat. No. And yeah, I could be searching all of those for screw. Uh, hello there, for screwdrivers, extra locks, etc. Uh, we have a crap ton of screwdrivers. We have an entire hiking backpack basically full of screwdrivers. So I'm not too concerned about that at the moment. Oh, and in that last cargo drop, um, there was a yellow screwdriver. So hell yeah, the yellow screwdrivers are the best. I'm gonna treat you. Yes. Actually, I should take the better one. You go away. Okay. There's another one. Yeah. <sighs> Drat. So are these boom boxes worth money? I mean, can you do anything other than sell them at the traders? That one's in crappy condition, though. Or do you, like, scavenge electronic parts and stuff from them? Let's see. This is a nice little yard here. I love these trees. You know, at some point, maybe in a future season, we could try, maybe... Setting a base actually in a small town or something like this. We could try. We could. I don't know how much I like the idea, but we could try um, making a base like in one of the actual cities. Oh, hello there. Excuse me. Do you know where there's a car seat? Uh, okay, then. Well, thanks anyway. I appreciate your time. Can I have my arrow back? I highly doubt there would be one in here. Yeah, no. Well, poo. Now, one of these garages had a, um, a rager seat in it, but that's not what I need right now. Whoop. Hello. Yeah, you're feeling slightly warm. That's wonderful. I guess I could... Yeah, we're not using the camo jacket right now. Sure, ditch the camo jacket. Actually, what can we... Can we put the camo jacket in anything else? Hmm. Excuse me. Come on. There we go. Camo jacket, Where, where's the bag? There's the bag. Bag. There we go. Much better. Now, I don't know if we're going to find a seat for the... Hello! Ah, damn it. Oh, you little skinny dudes, you run. You make me lose my arrows. Arrow. Arrow, can I have my arrow, please? Arrow! Arrow! And... Drat. Arrow! Arrow! <sighs> you asshole! Making me lose my arrows! And I, I didn't pay attention to where along through here he was. Drat. I don't suppose it could have gone through, could it? Uh, whatever. We have plenty more. We have 
two stacks of arrows on us, and we have two more stacks of carbon broadhead arrows in the truck, so not overly concerned about it. But anyway... No, oh, you're just a house. Hello? There you are. Howdy doodly, neighbor. Do you know where there's a car seat? I will trade you an arrow for a car seat. Okay, I gave you the arrow. Where's the car seat? Hey, where, where's the car seat? Hey. I thought we had a deal. Where's my car seat? <sighs> Fine, then can I have my arrow bag at least? Thank you. Unfortunate. Our seat. No. Who was that? Jumper cables. You know what? Sure, we'll take them. We don't need them. We already have some, but we'll take them anyway. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure I checked these two. Yeah, when I checked that one before, it set off everybody that was in there. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh, you like to jump, huh? Yeah. Warp, warp. I heard you. Do you know where there's a car seat? Sorry, I didn't give you time to respond. That's my bad. Oh, also, um... Somebody was asking about some of the settings, uh, like for puppets and whatnot, because, you know, I have it to where they can't uh, climb out the windows or go through doors. I basically have the puppets set to uh, 0 0.9 settings, so before they introduce the horde stuff. But I have the puppet numbers doubled and the puppet damage doubled. Oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah. God, I like how quickly you can do follow-up shots with the compound bow. Hello? Anybody else over here? But yeah, I'll show you guys real quick what we have. Um, now, this, again, is for the abandoned bunkers. This is basically how much noise it takes to set off the razors. Um, this is basically maxed out, so it should be much more difficult to set off the razors. And I'm keeping it that way until I get better at, at dealing with the razors. Because the razors just absolutely murder me. But, anyway, um, in here, this, the in-character base counter, uh, <laughs> this, several words in a row, that, that is, as I understand it, and it seems to be applied correctly here, um, that is the number of puppets, or the amount of puppets, in a given encounter. Default is set to one, I have it set to two, so there's double the number of puppets for every encounter. Now, the encounters vary based on location. Like, police stations are, um, like, higher threat zones. Um, just the basic small town areas that are not the police stations are, like, low threat zones, and then there's medium threat zones. Um, but anyway, each one of those tiers has a different preset number of puppets that spawn. And... This basically doubles all of those. And then down here, Horde Activ... I can't speak today, my apologies. Encounter, encounter Horde Activation Chance Multiplier. There you go, do it slowly. That's how you turn off hordes. So if you do not want hordes turned on, Set that to zero, and the hordes will not activate. Now, you'll still get aggroed puppets from, you know, um, 
them screaming at each other, but it won't spawn in a horde. And then down here you've got all of these settings for puppets opening doors and vaulting windows. I've got all of those set to off. You can turn off suicide puppets, but we've got those on. And you can turn off, <clears throat> off sentries, which I had sentries off, turned off for a while. It says disable sentry spawning, so that means that they are on. Um, but as far as the sentries go, I have their damage nerfed. It's set to 10%. Because anybody that watched me do, like, one of the previous live streams knows how bad I am with the sentries. And I got clipped by a sentry. Just one shot. And ended up with, like, four or five C4 injuries and bled out. And that was with them set to 10% damage. So, until I get better at the sentries, we're leaving it as... 10% damage. I could just turn it off altogether, but that's kind of... It, it, it takes the fun out of having to deal with them. But then the zombie damage multiplier, I've got it set to 2. So there's double the number of puppets, and they do double the amount of damage. So that's kind of what we have going on here. Um, And then I've also set the gasoline prices and propane prices to zero, if you guys notice that. That's in... Da -da -da -da. Sorry, a lot of you guys probably don't care about these settings. Uh, features. So the base building, I set it to where we can build a lot of stuff. Uh, resources. I have it set to where this stuff, to where water and gasoline and stuff should actually respawn um, readily. So that when you pull up to a gas pump, it's not empty. But here you can set gasoline price to zero. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And propane price I have set to zero. Although I've never found any use for propane currently. Um... I don't honestly know if I have these set correctly for making things work the way that I want them, but they do seem to be working fairly well aside from the well that we built at our place. But anyway, that's what I've got for server settings. Um, sorry to anybody that didn't want to see that or, or doesn't really care about seeing that, but multiple people have now asked about server settings in some various fashion. No, that's the rager seat in it. Yeah, you rat bastard. Can I put that in the the Leica? Probably not. But anyway, so there's our server settings. Hello. Do you know where I can find a seat for the car? Excuse me, car seat. Yes. No. Okay then. Let's see, we check that one. E. Oh, you're not a garage. I thought you were a garage. Hello? Do you know where there's a car seat? There's a car back there with no front seat. What'd you do with it? The people here are so unhelpful. Ooh. Oh, that's one of those barns. Dang, I thought that was like a farmhouse with a really nice covered porch. <sighs> Dracked, I got my hopes up. Can I have my arrow back at least? Thank you. <sighs> We're running out of garages. Car seat. No. Uh, we have two tire repair kits currently. When if I take it. Thank you. How are we doing on water now? We're fine. How is my water bottle? Where's my water bottle? Oh yeah, I switched to the big one. Okay, we're good then. Alrighty then. 
Is that another garage over there? That's another garage over there. Okay, we're going to take the scenic route around here, see if there's more over this way. There's this, but that's not helpful at all. That weed repellent? No, fungicide. We have some of that already. Um, that's something else I'm curious about. I don't know if you guys know, but is the like weed repellent, is it bugged out or something? Because it's not doing anything to my garden. I'm, I'm actually wondering if the base location that we chose is bugged. Because the uh, weed repellent didn't do anything. The weeds still grow like crazy, and I have to go in and, and pull them all by hand. Like, rock of marbles, hello. Don't surprise me like that. Not unless you were coming over to give me a car seat. Do you have a car seat on you? Maybe you were just trying to give me a car seat. Car seat. No, you don't have a car seat, you asshole. I thought you were coming over to give me a car seat, but no. <sighs> car seat, hello. I hear you over there, where are you? Do you have a car seat off in the woods? I see you up there. Do you have a car seat? Car seat, please. Man, I'm glad you have bright white hair. It stands out really well in here. Car seat. Uh, I'm fairly certain they can't carry car seats. Anywho. Car seat. No. Oh, that's a portable refrigerator. Okay. Fascinating. Not what I'm looking for. Okay, well... Who? I don't think we're going to find a car seat. You know, you guys can stay over there for the moment. I'm going to check over here for a car seat. Oh, you're a bar. Well. What are you? You're just a house. Okay, I don't care about you then. Excuse me, do either of you know where I can find a car seat? Please? Ooh, crap. You're skedaddly. I'm trying not to aggro the other one just yet. Ow, that was... Just bad on my part. There we go. Probably lost another arrow there. Woo! Howdly doodly, neighbor. Hi yeah. Oh, crap. Ow! Oh, you rat bastard. Bleeding slightly. Okay, it's just a C1, so I don't care. Did you damage my stuff? No. Okay, good. Now, I lost, like, two arrows because of you guys. Arrows. Arrows. Where did the other arrow go that I shot at this one? Arrow. Arrow. Aha! Arrow. I really wish that the arrows had, like, some kind of, like, really, really bright, um, like, feathers or something on them. I mean, I know that they have yellow with flames on them right now, but they need, like, some kind of really bright neon, co neon orange color or something that stands out really well. Now, I know it's very realistic to just lose your arrows. Um, so, uh, it, it's it's very realistic the way that it's done. And I'm not complaining about it. I just wish that it was a little bit easier to find them. But I wish that in real life, too. Are you anything? Might you have a car seat? Hello? Car seat. Car seat, car seat. 
No car seat. <sighs> car seat? No. Okay, then. Don't need that. I have, like, two beanies in the truck. Ooh, you're, you're valuable. Sorry, we're in this one. There's a lot of stuff to search. We might as well. I've got, like, 17 crowbars already. Yes, I could sell them. But we're also kind of running out of room for stuff at the moment. Lockpick I'll take. Rope we'll take. Ooh, you know, I would like that. Okay. Because that's one of the cooking things that I don't have yet, is a grill grid. And I want it. Now, we have a frying pan, but our... You, know, you guys said these are valuable, so we're going to take them. But the grill grid relies on electricity, which our generator is doing very well right now. It, it's still... Excuse me. It's still good. So. Hello. Is there by chance a car seat in this town? <sighs> you all are very unhelpful today. Car seat. Yes, no. No. All right, then. Arrow. Thank you. We checked that one. Pretty sure we checked that one. Yeah, we checked this one. This is the first one we checked. Yeah. Okay, well, poo. I don't think we're going to find a car seat. Drat. Well, alrighty then, I guess we shall get on our way then. Where's the truck? Now, we surely checked this one. Yeah, there's nothing. Hello, car seat. Was that I heard a noise it sounded like it came from over there it sounded like some kind of animal maybe it's just puppets I don't know either way uh, before we go I do want to check the pharmacy so let's do that real quick if I can find it you, you wouldn't happen to have a car seat in here, would you? I highly doubt it, but we're going to check anyway. Yeah, you're just one of these. You're not going to have a car seat. Grat. Also, I did go ahead and put some fertilizer on the garden back home. Uh, I don't know if it's going to do any good. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying before, I don't know if our base location is just bugged because a lot of stuff is not working the way that it's supposed to work. <clears throat> Thread, yes, please. But like, um, oh, the refrigerator not working. Uh, one of you mentioned that I need to make sure that the generator is close enough to the refrigerator. It is. the The fridge is hooked up to the generator. I can turn the fridge on and off, but it doesn't seem to make a difference as far as the meat is concerned. Um, which it did before. You know, when I first put it in there, it did, and then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, it stopped. And the meat started to decay rapidly. Like I said, it dropped like 30-40% just in the time that, you know, in the two hours that I was um, messing with my inventory the other day. You know, so I don't know what's, what's bugged there, but 
something seems to be, and then the well keeps resetting to zero every time I log in. Like, literally every time. It doesn't matter how much water is in the well when I log out. I log back in and it's reset to zero. And then the, um, I said the, um, da -da 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 -da, weed repellent seems to do absolutely nothing. Here's the pharmacy. Hello? I don't hear anybody in here. But the weed repellent seems to do absolutely nothing. So, I don't know. It, it To me, it seems like there's a lot of stuff that's bugged. I don't know. Ooh, yes, please. I don't know if that's just our base location. If it's something going on with just the things in general. And we have a ton of clothing and so we've got several rag bundles already. I'm not going to take a whole bunch of those right now. Ooh, a backpack though. We need more of those. I can't carry another. Uh, I can carry you in my hands. So we'll well, here, pull that out so that I can There we go. Well, I'm not going to see that very well. Hopefully I remember to come back for that. But, so I don't know if a lot of the stuff is just bugged because of our base location. If it's the actual things themselves, money, that are bugged. Or what's going on there, but... Uh, ooh, batteries. Yeah, ooh, actually, batteries. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Because this Glock came with a flashlight. But the flashlight has no batteries. There we go. Now we have batteries. I don't remember how to turn the thing on. But considering nighttime does not happen here, I don't know that that's really for anything. Anywho. There we go. Oh, poo. I have absolutely no storage space left whatsoever, huh? Okay, hmm, well, I'll tell you what, what do you have for, like, carbs and sugar and fiber? Excuse me. Okay, you actually don't have just straight up sugar. Interesting. You do, and you have fewer calories and slightly more fiber, I think. So, eat that. And then we can take those. Splendiferous. I guess I shouldn't really be searching for more stuff if we can't hold anything else. Oh, I have two apples in here. Well, alrighty then. Is there anything else we can just ditch? Oh, well, I could put this back on. How about we do that? That gives us more storage space. Ah. Um, you know what? We'll take the batteries. I can sell them. Stuff and things. I don't, I don't need rags. I, I, I don't need those at the moment. I said I was going to collect those. But we we don't have room for anything at the moment, so there we go. I I don't need bobby pins. We have so many bobby pins in the truck. Stuff and things. See, these look like they should be searchable, but they're not. Emergency bandage, yes. Syringe. Hmm. I don't know, you might be valuable. Okay, I think we've pretty well cleaned this place out now. Yeah. Alrighty, back to the truck. Where is the truck? Uh. There, that noise. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. It 
it, it did not sound like a puppet to me. Ooh, hey, you're one of these general stores. Sorry, I'm going to search this real quick. What the hell are you? Is that soy sauce? Yeah, I don't care about that. Not that we need more food at the moment. Eh, we definitely don't need more bobby pins. Money? Money. We will take that. Because we're heading for the trader. Ooh, there's lots of fruit and stuff here. What are you? Celery. That's... Hmm, that's, I've never seen celery look like that, but that's okay. Celery has fiber, yes. Not much, oddly enough. Huh. That's surprising, but, I mean, we'll take it. I like I like having fresh food. Uh, the garlic we really only use for antibiotics, and we have antibiotics on us right now. What are you? Sure, we'll take some cereal. Okay, and that seems to be it for here. Alrighty, well, let's get back to the truck and dump this inventory. I went the wrong direction, but that's okay. Or did I? No, I didn't. There's a truck right there. Beautiful. Hello? Yeah, I know, you're hot. It's fine. Excuse me. Oh, that one got you? Okay. Hey, excuse me for a second, guys. I need to sneeze. Well, Dread, I could not sneeze. I hate that. That's one of the most frustrating things in the world. When you need to sneeze, but you can't. Okay. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and unload this stuff. You guys don't have to watch this part. Okay. <clears throat> well, I think we're going to go ahead and get out of this here town. And... You know what? Here, take off the stupid jacket, too. We don't need it. We We don't need it. Thank you. You, just go in the truck. Okay. Now. Uh, I'm not sure if we're on the correct road. Mm, I don't think we are. I think we need to go up and then over. So, anyways, I will see you guys when we get to something a little more interesting. Hello. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude on your house. I was just admiring it. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well there, that shows damage now. But, you guys remember how badly damaged our rear tailgate was. Rear tailgate? Whatever. The tailgate was. Remember it had all the scratches and whatnot in it from before? It no longer does. And just a second ago, the hood was back to looking brand new, and now it's, it's all scratched up again. Huh, I'm curious as to if there's a texture bug going on, or if stuff is randomly resetting, like when, when logging in and out of the server. Anyway, I was pulling over here because I just wanted to admire this place. This looks like a nice little place. Excuse me. Oh, there are several of you here, huh? Okay, then. Well, I was wanting to see if there was maybe a water source nearby. Because this place is similar to our place. It already has greenhouses established. It 
it's a nice little area. I'm gonna take a quick gander back through here real quick. Uh, no, I'm not seeing any kind of water source. Right, I was hoping maybe there was a, a stream or a lake or something back here, but I, I sure don't see one. Yeah, I don't see one. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Because that's the big issue that I have with our place, is there's not a good water source. Yes, I put a well in, and there's... there's you know, uh, there is an established well on the property, as well as the hydrant, but uh, for watering the garden, those don't work very well. I pretty well have to rely on rain for watering the garden. So I would really like a better water source. I wish that you could dig a lake. That would be cool. It would take a long time to do, but it'd be, it'd be cool. We should go in the right way. Yes, but I kind of wanted to go hit... Well, nah, we don't need to hit that one. What even is that, though? I'm curious. Because, I mean, we're trying to go this way. We're trying to get to this stuff. We're, let's, let's hit this place real quick. I just want to see what it is. just an industrial thing okay well I don't really care too much about that at the moment then I presume you have sentries as well right they're not gonna shoot me if I'm on this side of the wall right yep you got sentries okay well, I'm not terribly interested in checking you out at the moment. Maybe we'll come back and look at that later. Anyway, on to the next town. And eventually the trader. Okay, well, that, that was lucky. Just glanced off the tree. Whee! I'm pretty sure we go straight here. Yeah, we don't need to turn. And we keep, hmm, excuse me, keep going straight. One of these days, I would really like to just come explore. You know, not really go out to loot, but just go out to explore these, all of these little side dirt roads and whatnot. You know, I would love to do that someday. So maybe we can do that as a future episode or... I don't know, future season or something. Let's see. I'm not really going to bother searching that right now. Because here's the thing. We're also running out of inventory space in the truck. Um, I did go back and get that backpack from the uh, from the pharmacy. So you guys don't, don't need to yell at me for that. <laughs> not that you ever yell at me for anything. But I did go back and get that. Um, is this the police station? No, you're not a police. What are you? What is this building? Is it a school? It's a school. Okay. You know, we might be able to find a backpack in there. Because I'm still just looking for more backpacks constantly. 
Now, I hear a bunch of you guys. Are you all inside things? I think you're inside things. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna hop out here and check the school. And when you mention I should leave the doors on the truck open in case we need to make a hasty getaway. Also, would you guys like to... Do you guys want me to turn it back on to where puppets can get through windows and doors and stuff? Because I can turn that on if you want me to. I've, I've been debating about turning one of them on. You know, either windows or doors. Preferably, honestly, maybe doors. Just from the standpoint of... It adds a really creepy factor when you hear them just pounding away on the door. Trying to get in. Yay! Oh, you're a really crappy one, and the leather backpacks don't hold much. I mean, you don't take up much space, though, so I guess we'll take you. We're not going to search everything here because there's not a whole lot useful at the schools. But uh, we're primarily looking for backpacks. Well, we did find a backpack, so that's good. Open. It's a really crappy backpack. You know, it's in horrible condition. Where did we park? Okay. I was going to say, please don't tell me the truck despawned again. I would be so pissed if the truck despawned again. You're feeling slightly warm. Well, fine. We'll take the scarf off. Um, yeah, I guess we'll repair this. It's going to use up most of our sewing kit, but... Eh, maybe not. Okay, then. Here. You go out here. We'll put you in here. And you in here. You, you can be the clothing backpack, okay? Beautiful. Okay, let's go find us a police station. Because you know me, I... That's the whole reason I come to these towns, is police station. Ooh. What's up there? Oh, is it like a churchyard? Yeah, okay, I see the... Yeah. I see the tower there now. Okay, so yeah, that's a church up there. Do you guys ever find anything good at all in the churches? Because I have yet to find any... I find bow and arrow. Or not even arrows, usually, but bows. Okay, there's the police station. Okay, well, it sounds like there's a lot of you in here. Yep, I see several of you up there. But yeah, let me know if you guys want me to fiddle with the, the puppet settings any further currently, or if we want to just go with them as is. What I wish they would add is a way to... make the puppets slower but harder to kill you know like basically like you know the traditional zombies where they're slow but they require a headshot to kill you know i i wish that they would add a a setting for that because yeah the running zombies are terrifying but if you've got the right guns, you know, you can just mag dump into them and survive. Howdy doodly neighbor. Any more? Oh, come on. I said I was... 
Oh, okay, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Hey, where'd you go? Well, I don't... Yeah, I do. I, I do have the flare on us. Okay. because I can still glitch through the walls every once in a while. Oh, how badly. No, it's still just a C1. Okay. Did you mess up any of my stuff? No. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh, you asshole. Hello there. Oh, I thought it was you. Yeah. Come on. Okay, I don't see anybody else in there, so I'm not going to use the flare. And rather than climbing through the window... Could just come in here through the door. Thank you. Hmm, shotgun slugs. We'll take them. Old spoiled candy. Yummy. Just what I always wanted. Hey, there we go. Also, I did find a, another 357. Um, ooh, another backpack. Yay. Police sweater. I haven't seen that yet. What do you look like? I'm not crazy about the the blue. Yeah. Really not crazy about the blue. Just the, the bright blue. The dark blue, I like. The, the light blue, not so much. But, um, what's your all's opinions on the 38 versus the 357? You know, the 357 obviously is more versatile. But I just, I like the 38. You know, I don't know why. I just, I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. Ooh, hey, now we found another one of you. Hmm, well that's that's handy there. That's that's valuable. We finally found the 44. Hell yeah. Oh, now the 44 looks exactly like the 357. Except for the grips. The grips on the 44 are these, like, nice white, pearly, mm, excuse me, pearly looking grips. And the 357s are, like, um, wood looking grips. Ooh, the 44, though. Ooh, I'm, I'm attempted. I'm, I'm tempted to, to keep this. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. We'll see, because we do have some 44 ammo. Of course, once we stopped carrying the 38, now we find a bunch of 38 ammo. <laughs> hey, that's fine, though. I need more lockpicks. I don't have room for you. Yeah. 
No, I don't, because you take up more than that, don't you? Yeah, okay. Pull this out onto the floor. And we'll try to come back in for it. Actually, the truck is just parked outside. Give me that. Truck. Truck is parked around on the other side of the building. Okay, so we searched everything in here, right? Got all of these? Yeah. Okay. I should be closing these doors. Also, if there's other places in these towns that you guys would recommend I search, besides just the police stations and maybe pharmacies and garages, let me know. Was that it that was in that one? Because I go to these areas because I know that they have things that I want. And they have things that are valuable. Hello? Anyone up here? No? Nobody? Okay, good. Money. Money. No money. 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 No. That. Oh, driving gloves. No money at all? No no monies. <sighs> money Yay Finally You're in horrible condition. A little concerning that there's some like semi destroyed Denim shorts in a jail cell there. That's, uh... Mm. Ooh, yes, please. You guys are valuable. Well, I don't know about you, because you're... Mm. Hey, you... Do that. Then go in there. There we go. That takes up less space. Now, also, would you guys like to see me run a 1911? I don't really like the 1911 in this because the capacity is not much better than the revolvers but well and the magazines even though they only hold like seven or eight take up an entire inventory slot you know whereas with the revolvers you can just have a box of ammunition take up the same amount of space that it takes for one 1911 magazine but I, I will leave that up to you guys if you would like me to try running the 1911. We can. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll take that. We have room for it currently. Backpack! Yeah! Um, what kind of... Yeah, that's what I thought. Fix it. This has actually been a very productive trip, as far as finding backpacks and stuff. That's nice. That means I don't have to make more backpacks, at least not right now. <gasps> oh, damn. I thought you were an MP5. I mean, we'll still take you, but we don't have any magazines for you. Or do we? I don't remember if we have any mags for that. We have like five mags for the MP5. Hey. We got another mag for that. That's good. Can I have an, an, a mag for the, for the ump? That's not a mag for the ump. Although, I don't remember how valuable those are. Eh, rats. 
don't have room for you. Now, I know that the boom boxes, you can use them to, you know, as distraction devices. Anything up here? Nothing? Well, alrighty then. Fair enough. <sighs> but, uh, anyway, in terms of, you know, what kind of guns you guys want me to run. One of you mentioned using the, uh, the Carbon Hunter. You know, the, the 30 6 bolt-action hunting rifle. And that sounds like a lot of fun. I like running the bolt-action rifles. Um, I've never used that one before. I've used, like, the, the, uh, Car 98 and the Mosin, which I like, but I'm not finding those. And that's kind of frustrating, because I really like those. I just, I love the, the wood stocks on them, you know, the, the classic look. And then I also like that they don't require a magazine. Um... You know, the, the developer notes say that they're working on adding an SKS. Which I really hope they do, because I love the SKS. So, I really hope that they do actually get that added in. Soon. Because um, that's going to use the same as AK. You know, it's going to use 7.62x39. Uh, but I don't know if it's going to require any kind of magazine. I don't know if they're just going with the traditional standard SKS that just has a fixed 10-round internal magazine that you can load. It would be nice if they would let it... Hey... If they would get it to where you could load it with um, either just individually or using stripper clips. Because that's something else that I want them to add. I want them to add um, like speed loaders for the revolver. That would be nice. I don't know really how practical it would be necessarily because it, it would end up being the same as like the 1911 where it's not going to hold very much but it's going to take up a whole inventory slot but it would make the revolvers reload considerably faster so that would be nice police backpack you can hold that and this yeah okay but anyway I don't know if they have any plans to do that or not. That would just be nice. If they did, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the SKS. If they ever do actually implement it. Whoa, are you full? Oh, you're full. Well, poop. All right, then you go in there. You. Never mind, you're full too. But like I said, you see, we're running out of room in here. And most of the chests are getting pretty full. So... Let's see, you can fit in there still, can't you? Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Alrighty then. I wish that you could combine these to refill them. That would be handy. But... Anyways... Uh... Yeah, we plan to use the Carbon Hunter at some point. Maybe we buy that from the trader. Because I know that one of those is going to be a lot cheaper than an SVD. Now, I still definitely want to run the SVD. I've never used that before. I think I hear a chicken. Anyway, unrelated. Um... Yeah, if there's other weapons that you guys would like me to try. Like I said, we're heading for the trader. So, and we've got a decent amount of stuff now. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think we should try and get from the trader. Realistically, we're looking at weaponry, most likely, as, as what we're going to get from the trader. Because we already have pretty much everything we need for the truck. 
Um, aside from this door, but we can scavenge that somewhere for free. Um, you know, we've got... We're geared up pretty well as far as, like, clothing, backpacks, etc. And I can always make backpacks, you know, due to the abundance of puppets. I would still like to do a proper hunt, though, where we get animal skins. But anyway, um, we're primarily looking at weapons from the... Um, from the traders. Maybe some fishing gear as well. We'll see about that. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see us run as far as loadouts, or if there's anything in particular you want me to look for from the trader. Uh, like I said, somebody suggested an SVD, somebody suggested the uh, Carbon Hunter. I like both of those ideas. Um... And then let me know if you guys want to see other, you know, handguns run. You know, we can... Like I said, I'm really tempted on that 44 mag. I like the revolvers for some reason, and that 44 mag packs a hell of a punch. So, we may fiddle around with that. Um, but we do have this nice Glock on us that's... Or block, whatever. With a suppressor and everything... So, we'll see. But, like I say, let me know what you guys would like to see as far as loadouts. Let me know what you guys would like to see in terms of what we should get from the traders. Um, also, let me know, because I... Or, let me know what you guys think about... You know, I was talking about our base being kind of bugged. Let me know what you guys think on that. If If you think it's... A bug of the base location, if it's, you know, just let me know what you guys think on that whole situation, because it's frustrating when, you know, like the well refuses to fill, or it resets to zero, you know, and the refrigerator doesn't seem to work even though we have it hooked up to a generator. And just stuff like that. Let me know your guys' opinions on that. Um, because we can move to a different location. I've, I've debated about that already, just from the standpoint of, I debate about going back up to this place. You know, the, the really nice lake with just a little cabin next to it. So there's not much already there to be in the way. But we could still use the, the couple of buildings that are there for storage. But there's a whole lot of open ground around it on which we could build anything we want. And then it already has a lake for unlimited fresh water. We could fish out of it. Um, and we could set garden plots you know, right along the edge of the lake if we wanted to. You know, so that it'd be easy to water them. So we could still grow all of our own food if the gardening system works out. Um, so I've, I've been considering that just because the place that we're in, I, I picked it because it had a lot of potential. But I'm starting to dislike a lot of things about it, specifically the... Lack of fresh water. I mean, you have the well and the hydrant, but trying to water the garden from those takes... You know, it drains both of those completely. So that sucks. Um, hello? Well, okay then. Um, so, yeah... I, I don't know. I like our place because it has established greenhouses already. Um, and I liked the buildings initially when I thought that you could still build in them. But now that I know you can't, it's kind of frustrating. Now, the crappy part about moving is going to be that all of our work there gets undone. Now, we could still leave a lot of that there and use that just as a second outpost or something. Um, which would be nice, because I have it set to where you can have multiple flags per player. Not that it, that really matters, because we're on single player. 
I keep hearing stuff and things. Anyway, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think on that. If you think we should move to a different area, if you think we should just make do where we are. Um, I do like the idea of a new area from the standpoint of just a fresh start on a base, building whatever the hell we want rather than being kind of limited in the spot that I picked. Now, we can certainly, you know, build our own house out in like the, the potato fields or something next to where we already are. So, I mean, that's that's not a huge deal. The water is the issue. And there's no water sources nearby. There's, like, nothing. You know, there's not even, like, a river or a stream or a lake anywhere nearby. The river is way over here. And there's no lakes or anything nearby. At least not that I'm aware of. And so we're kind of stuck with the well and the hydrant that can't even water half the garden combined. So stop hitting the wrong button. Anyway, uh, that's something for future episodes. Um, but let me know what you guys think on that idea. Um, and also, again, let me know what you think as far as what the next stream should be. If you want it to be Scum or Project Zomboid. Um, I'm probably not going to do Infinite Craft as a stream. Um, it's just, it's not the most enjoyable thing for me, and if we have other stuff that you guys are requesting that would be more my style, I would rather do that. So, um, like I said, let me know what you guys would like the next stream to be, since that's probably going to be tomorrow. Hopefully, there's the chicken! Now, I'm not going to bother killing the chicken, because we're, we're doing okay on meat right now. Kind of, sort of. Maybe. Um, but, anyway. Sorry, I'm asking a whole lot of questions and, and just rambling as per usual. So, anyway, let me know what you guys want to do as far as everything. <laughs> I'm not going to go through the whole list again. But, uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys think we should do uh, in respect to a lot of things here. And uh, other than that, thank you guys so, so much for all the support. You guys are just awesome. You, you're still blowing up the videos. You guys are posting a lot of comments, which is nice. The comments really, really help. One, it helps promote the videos some with the algorithm. I don't know how all of that works, but I know that when... Videos have more comments. They do tend to get recommended more, which helps the channel grow. So that's awesome. But also, your guys' comments are just so helpful. You guys give me so many good tips, suggestions, everything. Even just when you give me words of encouragement. I love it. You know, you guys, you're constantly telling me that, you know, you you like the way that I do things, even though this is, isn't the most exciting channel I know. But you guys still enjoy the videos. You know, you guys keep saying that this is kind of your style of video. You like the longer videos. You like um, just the way that I do things. Which is great. That's a lot of encouragement for me to keep doing things. You know? And if there is stuff that you want me to change, like, you know, changing any of the settings or whatever, I'm, I'm down for that, you know? Let me know what you guys would like to see, and we'll make it happen to the best of our ability anyway. Um, but yeah, just thank you guys so much for being awesome. We're, we're building a really nice community here around the channel, I feel like. And I really like that, because I, I'm making friends with some of you guys, and that's really cool. I didn't think that that would happen with YouTube. I thought it would be, like I said, I would make videos... A few people would watch them, and I'd get comments like, Hey, good job! You know, or, you know, just generic stuff like that. But no, you guys are really, really interacting with things, and I feel like we're we're getting this awesome community coming together here. So, I love that. Thank you guys so much for being a part of all of this. Uh, I, I'm gonna stop rambling, I swear. I just, I, 
I want to thank you guys for all the support that you're showing to the channel, for being so awesome, and just for for being the cool people that you are. You know, you guys are, are making me feel very welcome on YouTube, and I, I didn't think that that would happen. So, just thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I, I, I promise I'll shut up now, so I will see you guys in the next one. Um, which may very well be the live stream if we can put that together tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yes. Saturday night. Okay, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And I will see you guys in the next one.